Okay, we're we're recording. Is this thing coming in recording? I just accepted the this stuff. They moved it. It's not something that came out. Okay. It is 6 of 2 p.m. I'm going to call to order this regular meeting of the Danville School Board of Directors. Um, my name is Clayton Carr. I'm the board chair. The board, a form of the board sits in the room. So we're going to go ahead and introduce ourselves around the room, even though there's nobody on Zoom right now. I have next to me. Um, Vice Chair Dave Toll. Vice Chair Dave Toll. And also Molly Clark. Tim Sanborn is um, otherwise occupied with a school related thing, and Eric Hewitt is out of town on something that was planned before he was elected. Mm -hmm. I have uh, superintendents in the room Mark Tucker, superintendent, two building principals, Sarah Welch, elementary principal, yeah, and our facilities director is kind enough to join us. Brandon Lawrence. Thank you, Brandon. And mm -hmm. Randy Rathburn is at a softball game, as I mentioned. He's going to get here as soon as he can. He may not be less. So I'm not on the cell phone. Um, moving on, uh, with addition to changes to the agenda, I have one thing I need to add, and it's going to be largely procedural, and we can talk about it at length during this. But under the board business of can recommendation, it should say discussion and possible action. So I'd like to add possible action to that. So I have motion to okay. do so from Dave Toll. Second from Molly. Do you need discussion about that before we add it? All in favor of adding possible action for that piece of board business, please say aye. 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 I'll vote aye as well. There was going. And there's that. April 2nd minutes were our um, regular April board meeting minutes. We talked about some things. They're listed out here. Molly wrote the minutes. Mm -hmm. She sent them to me. We reviewed them before we moved on. Molly, how do you feel about those minutes? Okay. Very good. All right. Well, good enough to make a motion. Good to make a motion regarding them. Oh, I'll make a motion to approve the uh, minutes of the meeting for April second, two thousand twenty-four, as written. I'll second. Second. Mm -hmm. Motion and a second to approve the April second minutes. All in favor of the April second minutes, please say aye. 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 No, no, no say in the mouth. Motion carries. Okay, um, I'd like to move on now to the superintendent report. Mark my head on the uh, fellas. Yeah, I mean, I wrote about the yield bill, and I really don't have an update because it's like thrashing around. It's in the Senate now, and they're trying to add some things back into it that the House had considered and taken out. So, um, we just got an update from VSBA about 45 minutes ago. This is roughly the same thing as you were saying here. Yeah, that it's it's up tomorrow. They're hoping to get it passed tomorrow. Yeah, but they you know they don't know. But if the Senate adds something into it that the House didn't approve, it's got to go back to the House. Mm -hmm. There's fundamental uh, differences of opinion between the House and the Senate that seem to be coming more and more common on on pretty much every piece of legislation. Um, I did finally. Uh, get an email back from uh, Secretary Moore at ANR and it kind of missed the whole point of what I was saying. Or I don't think she's fully informed on what's been going on and she just directed me to go back to the DEC person and I'm trying to find some time to catch up with her. Um, yeah, that was also in the VSB update and they said again, they're just gonna, they're gonna pause it. They're gonna vote to pause it and then pause it and that's gonna do that. Yeah, which doesn't do anything for us because they already tested us. And what I'm trying to get them to do is get rid of the problems that they've identified. Um, the the biggest problem in this building still is somewhere in that electrical room. And it may involve, you know, like switches and breakers and stuff in there, which would mean overhauling that and, you know, getting rid of that panel and replacing it. I have no idea what would be involved in doing that, but. We aren't even at the um, we we aren't even at the point where we could like go out and get a bid on it because we don't have permission to do anything. But I'm going to try to get DEC off the dime on this because Secretary Moore told me, "Oh no, this stuff shouldn't be held up. You should be able to get your plans done," which is not what her division people did. They just stopped work on it. So um, still battling a little bit, I guess, for lack of a better term. Trying to push them, push that through, get them to 
at least to the point where they say, okay, for example, this is not, this is a hypothetical. Danville, to solve your problem, you need to re remove and replace that electrical. Okay. So then we go out and find out what that would cost, and you can anticipate that it would be lots of money. And then we would be asking uh, the state to phony up the money to pay for it from the remediation fund and starting to money. And getting getting money out of that fund before somebody else used it all up. But that's where we are on that. But again, that's that room, children, children don't go in. So children don't, room, don't go in, and rarely do adults go in. So that's why we've been okay. Um, and, but that's probably the very, very, very low tech levels, very low PCBs on the other side of the wall for now. But that's a space that the that adults go in and out of. It's a food storage, food container storage room. But we were told from day one that it's not a problem with, you know, like cans, number 10 cans of SpaghettiOs or whatever. I don't know. Just soft, no spaghetti. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, the fact that that won't be contaminated and it's not a problem. There's raisins in there. <laughs> I can't think of that. You did? <laughs> you find a little footprint foot on them or not some raisins? Okay. All right. <coughs> All right. So, um, if anybody has any other questions. Um, uh, I guess the only other thing, you know, this, this whole business with the non confirmation of the Secretary of Education and the governor. Appointment to a minimum position is just, it's a, it's, it's a political mess. And at this point, my guess would be is she is going to be the Secretary of Education because I don't think he's, I don't think he's going to renominate her for approval by the Senate and you're just going to leave her in there as an interim as long as he likes her and as long as he stays in office. So, one way to do it. It is a, it's a way to do it. It's not a necessarily popular way to do it, but he's, you know, it got political. The big thing that, you know, I don't know, I'm not getting the phone. It's just, it's just political and it's kind of sick. Uh, it's a bunch of grown ups that don't get along. But so. she is, she's the interim secretary of education now. You yeah. told me she sent up a 100 day plan. So she's, yeah. she's already yeah. working. We had a meeting yesterday afternoon, uh, VSA trustees and Jeff Francis and the incoming, uh, uh, executive director of the VSA. Jeff Francis is retiring. His longtime assistant was hired by the trustees to take that position. And he retires. Yeah, that's well. Anyway, it's just you know, see lots of other things going on in the world that have nothing to do with Dan Bell. So, as Dave points out, he sent us an email two days ago oh, well. about uh, some this, the uh, after school uh, after program. School program right? Oh, a grant, yeah, a grant. I mean, that's, thank you. That, because I did mention that for the record. Um, so we applied for a state after school grant and they have two tiers. And the reason that Cabot qualified for the, um, for the higher tier is because they have all the community stuff in place that they put into place as part of the community schools grant that supported. And that was one of the criteria. So. They're getting a big chunk of money. Uh, the other six schools are getting to share sixty thousand dollars. So it's you know ten thousand dollars ain't nothing, but um, you know there is a reason why Cabot got a bigger amount because they have more community services in a very small town. They've built up community services to support their after school programming. You know, good for them. That's not a knock on us. They don't you know it's just hard to do them here. Yeah, no, we're very grateful for that. Yeah. Yeah. Good addition to what is. Uh, yeah. Budget. So we'll we'll we have we'll have to spend that on the after school program, and so that's ten thousand dollars that's in the approved local budget that will not have to be spent on the after school program. Is that is that the plan with it? Is is to not spend it? Is this is to just repurpose ten thousand dollars? Yeah. I did, well, I mean, we haven't had that conversation, but I, I you know, um, I guess you know if there was if we could justify it increasing the capacity of the program here we would have an extra ten thousand dollars to do it but keeping in mind that this is as far as i know this is a one-time grant you wouldn't be able to rely on it next year so you know there's some yin and yang in there but we haven't talked about still good news it's yeah. good news ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollars what was the uh the pot of money that they got 
for that community project, there was like a select number of schools that for them to get all those pieces in place, they were it part was of a community schools grant that they uh, had in place for two years now. How did they get that funding? That would be they apply for it. Is that still available or is that if the program has not been uh, it's not been renewed? There's there was a bill in the legislature to to uh, to refund it, but I don't I don't know if that's passed. Okay, that's another one we got today that is not coming. Yeah. Yeah, this is not the year for the legislature to approve spending. You know, it, it's just, it's a, it's a tough financial year. I didn't know if that came from like a federal source that trickled through the state. No, it was money that the legislature back in it. I think the, you know, back when everybody was flushed with COVID money, yeah. the, the, and there was a lot of money coming in to the state, a lot of tax revenue coming in to the state. Um, during the pandemic. And the, the pandemic, as bad as it was from a public health perspective, was a financial boom to the state government. Mm -hmm. And so they directed, so they set that up and directed money towards it and hope to renew it. Um, and that doesn't look promising. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Moving on next to student services report. And with me right at the top, a living, breathing, speech language pathologist, mm -hmm. human being. Is that right, Mark? That is right. That's been a big need for us. We yeah. don't want to live a full-time one. In CCSU, another one. The, 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 yeah, uh, multiple. So we've, you know, Cabot's been surviving on, on I'm remote. Remote for a while, speech. right? Yeah, all year. Not good. <laughs> big for the CCSU. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's good. So special services is getting loaded up. Any questions about the special services report that the superintendent take back? Well, you can email Ann and Allie if you need to. If not, moving on to the building principal. The principal. Well, Short report and sweet May report is teacher appreciation week. So we celebrate that as staff appreciation. Um, LTG has been awesome. Helping out and supporting that, and um, parents coming together to show our staff appreciation for all that they do. I think that's being well received this week. We are done officially with state testing. Can you comment on that the right. experience this year compared to last year? I can't comment on last year other than I know it was a disaster, but um, this year was both of you relatively smooth. Yeah, it was relatively smooth. One of the things we were talking about when we wrote this, because um, I was a look back at the previous uh, month's report, we finished testing on April 19th, the Friday before break, and we didn't, this year, and we didn't even start testing until April 7th last year. And so I think that's a huge, that's a huge mm -hmm. piece. Um, a, that's the state mandate um, for the dates, and they moved it up. Um, so it's a lot of instruction that is lost <clears throat> during that time. But as far as testing, for the most part, it went smooth. There's some glitches with like um, some of the accommodations for kids, but those are pretty easily worked out. As well. But as compared to last year, last year you reported to us that. You already are students logging in and getting into the test for other schools. Well, other schools. I mean, our ninth graders, we, we picked big kids that very specifically to start with the test. And they, last year, some of them took, I mean, legitimately 15 plus times to log in, log out, log in, log out. And we saw that a couple mm -hmm. times on that day two of a test, but not like maybe two or three times to log mm -hmm. in, not 15 plus. So that was... And then um, you sent me an email today and you're talking about a senior project. So on, yeah. there was a community night recently and you said that there was some success showing the projects there. And then you wanted to talk to me and to us about yeah. bringing some projects in next June for yeah. some of the things to present. So Does now have, be a good time for that? Yeah, absolutely. So I'll let you read that. Um, so community night, we had our um, incoming, our, our new, newly hired um, superintendent and assistant superintendent there to stop by and visit, which was great just to see the kids and kind of get a sense for our, our senior class. But um, Rachel Keach, our <clears throat> flexible pathways coordinator, asked me if there would be another opportunity for some of those really strong senior projects to be highlighted somehow. And so we're going to do an internal presentation for students 
Wednesday, most of them were able to come in the evening. Um, and then we were hoping to have them come and present to you as well. So maybe three or five um, seniors come up here and show you as their do you, and do you want that to be during a meeting, or do you, yeah. would you like that to be a special meeting, or would you during like that meeting. during the meeting will be fine? Okay. So that we could probably put that on for the June meeting. That's okay with everybody. The first week of June, we'll have the kids come in. Yeah, would be great. And if we need to start early, we can start early maybe. See how it goes. But I'm I'm all for that. So I'll get these are senior projects. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. We'll highlight a few. Cooper some... Hawkins did an awesome, <clears throat> awesome one, and then the Pope. Oh, cemetery, sure. so mm -hmm. yeah, that was, yeah, Andy. Andy, Andy. yeah. So, there's some big ones. Just wait, where the uh, newspaper out of possibly and a courtesy vote, maybe that, maybe oh. that. Yeah. All right, yeah. and then you'd like to tell us, and uh, the tuition enrollment feedback, uh, were you happy um, about that? I was, you know, I always want. More feedback, but mm -hmm. you know, only so many people are ever going to do the survey for you. So mm -hmm. I was thrilled to see the results that 100% of folks were saying this is a good education, and 100% of the kids were agreeing. Sure. So I don't usually get high like, school kids or middle schoolers to agree on too much. So that made me really, really happy. So if there's there's a lot of good things happening in our um, our high school, and I want to make sure to do a better job in the coming months and next year and highlighting that and publicizing that. It looks like that, that's your challenge. Indeed. We're trying out here. Um, yeah. yeah. Right. We're five this week, but six grades gone. So it's crazy. We're going to send them next week. I know. I know. Well, then eighth grade is gone today, and they're gone tomorrow. And tomorrow. high school is gone today. It's like, so high school is gone tomorrow, too. So oh, and more high school. The uh, National Art Honor Society. Oh, see. Oh, that's right. Oh, they are. I think they're on last year. Well, the bus coming back. Do you remember that? I do. I do. Yeah. That, was, you, a, that was two years ago. Was, was, was it two years ago? It was two years ago. Oh, yeah, sure. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. But. <laughs> no, we don't get out of here. <laughs> we haven't had a, much of a challenge with COVID this year. And a little bit at the beginning. Um, I think the CDC changed their rules so that staff and families don't have to be out for five days, which is nice. But we've still had staff specifically who've gotten really sick and so mm -hmm. we just had a staff member who was out yeah. very sick all last week um, and the entire week of school again mm -hmm. um, so it's still, still more illness my kids were the most sick yeah. this past year and they've been really? ever since they were born yeah. like yeah. one after another nasty nasty stuff going so, i don't know but yeah it was rough well, we have norovirus and stomach yeah. flu and all kinds of stuff like that last year yeah this year, too. Yeah. 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 Well, maybe not here. Not here. School, yeah. Had a big problem. Yeah. And our only other plug would be Jay Kulu is coming um, for an arts festival next week. And then they're doing a um, performance <laughs> on Friday afternoon at 1 30. So. Well, can you guys join us? Yeah, Facebook stuff. Is that the week before? So, is this your proposal the week before um, Memorial Day or the week before? Yeah. The, week before? The, week, the week before, the week before. It's not the Friday, but it's not Memorial Day Friday. That's, so that's not, I think, 24th, because I think Memorial Day is earlier this week. Yeah. No, it's not yet. Right. It's not two Fridays before. Yes. But more actually to come. More fun days to come. Good thing. We'll get details about prom and graduation and all that. Prom tickets are on sale. No. Okay. And we're currently sitting with, so you, you, we have some open positions, but we have um, right now interim hiring authority going on. So if anything comes up. We'll I'm be meeting in. with uh, uh, PE. I'll recommend a PE hire tomorrow. So, we'll be hopeful. We'll be hopeful to find out. Yep. Well, I'll let you, I'll let you know. Well, with her. And I think we should have you have a lot of applicants for the social studies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, a lot of folks who are graduating, graduating this month from college um, have applied. 
So a lot of licensable people, um, big pool, solid candidates. So we're interested in all the city for possibilities in this room. It's been a while since we've had a deep pool yeah. for any of our positions. Right. Yeah. Not sure That's right. Yeah, there are I think 15 applications. Oh, there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot. So some of that, some of that is because there's some hard work to make the, the starting salary for the first column A1 for, for teachers to be competitive in the region. 100%. Um, yeah. Yep. That's, you know, that's been a challenge here to come up with some budgeting stuff because it, it's very important to be offered the jobs that your job is comparable to jobs that are in your life. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of meetings. I went to a lot of those meetings. So did Mark. Mm -hmm. That's all. I'm not pat myself on the back. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's all. Okay. I'm gonna move on. Reading phone. Did you want to talk about that? Or? Oh, I mean, I didn't have anything specific. We're in the throes of it. Um, I have to highlight it through the rest of the month. So we've met, our staff have met three times, um, twice as Danville School, once last Friday with um, Des and Jen, and um, that's our to Jen Murray, and then the Turnfield staff that are piloting too. So we are meeting. As a staff, two more times. So we can just talk about it and weigh out pros and cons and figure out where we're headed. Because your pile would be two different programs. Yep, correct. And remind the board what the goal is to pick one for next year? Yep, the goal would be to pick one um, between expeditionary learning and preparation. So they both support all the way through. K through eight. Um, ARC supports all the way through 12th grade, which is um, just easier. <coughs> so, but we're looking very specifically K eight. To and unify the curriculum. Unify the curriculum, yes. common language, vertical alignment. But yeah. Also, with the, to unify the curriculum across several schools as well that are in our neighboring district. That is neighboring district, like within our SEO? Um, that's what we have. Neighboring district. That's true. I just am clarifying your language. Um, I, my impression is that the end goal is not to automatically have the same program yeah. in every single school within our school. We put two on the table. For, for the two yes. Yeah. Two and we already know Cabot's using EL right, yep. for the scenario learning. <clears throat> they're not constrained to pick that. They're, they're going to pick the one that makes the most. So right. for the student base and for the teacher base and yeah. yeah yeah so they were vetted programs that were given going from there so mm -hmm. it's not like we're from a bunch and a half mm -hmm. so. it's I think they're one I want to commend the principal for taking this on this is not an easy conversation with some of the other schools and they decided well let's down both <laughs> so <they're, laughs> Yeah, so that's good. I mean, you've you've done you've done some good work for that, and then I think other schools are going to benefit from that experience, mm -hmm. even though that wasn't their assignment or probably not even the goal. But, yeah. you know, you've learned about two programs, and that's going to be real. Yeah, thank you. But I also want to say, like, we didn't strong arm our teachers into it. Like, they right. were willing. They They're ready. They, yeah. you know, they all recognize there's going to be a learning curve, but there's going to be something that'll be challenging, but. Um, almost every teacher that would be teaching the program is piloting one or two. So mm -hmm. it's, that's a really cool piece. Any questions? Okay. Let me see. Anybody should ask questions. Okay. okay, so we're moving on from the principal's report into our board business. And the first item in the board business is the and recommendation, which is a tax tax appreciation notice. Anticipation. Tax anticipation notice. And we had action. And um, we talked about this before. It wasn't on it wasn't on the thing. This is a procedural action by us, but the actual act of borrowing the money has been approved by the voters already. This is just for the auditor's access to make sure that we make make this motion at some point. So we're going to review some of these. I'll turn this turn the floor over to Mark. So just um and maybe for um, for now we benefit because you weren't here when we did this last year. So you understand what a tan what the purpose of the tan is? Is that um, to just lay out for everyone what what the spending would be? No, no, no. It's a tax anticipation note. So what it means? 
So on July 1st, you're basically broke and you have to have money. Yeah, because you spent the upper right. 24 money. Tax collection, the tax revenue doesn't come from the town until early fall. So, so October, October. October. Okay. Oh yeah. So what a can does is it, it it's a it's a loan that we take out to see if the finance takes it out and makes a band bill. And it's so that you have some cash in the bank that pays bills from July 1st until the tax revenue. Yeah. So the way that Mike has done it, and he does a really good job with handling this, is he borrows the money. There's a whole formula, you know, for cash flow analysis. I don't understand it. And I don't need to. None of us do. Okay. And he says, I need this much cash to get us through until taxes come in. So we get a chunk of money. He puts it in an investment account. So part of the negotiation uh, with the banks is you have to not only loan us money, but you have to give us an investment account that we can use to put that money into until we need to spend it and to put our tax receipts in when it comes in. And we make money off the investment account. account. And he manages the cash in such a way that he only draws enough money out at a time to spend it, moves it into a general account to pay bills. And by being really careful with how he uses your cash, he actually makes money over and above what we have to pay in interest on the on the TAN note. So um, they used to be a slight loss leader in past years, and Mike knows how to manage cash. So everybody makes money on this. Um, what I put up on the screen here, I'm not share, sharing the screen that just it was just us chickens, but um, what he did is he went out to the banks and he, he we've <laughs> We've been working with the Sumsic Savings Bank for a while. They have all of our checking accounts. They, all of our money flows through them. Um, and they bid on this. Uh, but we also went to Union Bank and Community National Savings Bank. And we got proposals. And so there's always some a little bit of variance. Like one of them might come in with slightly higher or lower interest rate on the note. and But then they might come in with a slightly higher or lower interest rate on the investment account. But... One of the things that was different this year that Pasumsi did was that they actually offered us uh, an investment account. CCSU doesn't raise money, but we hold on to money. And they offered uh, an investment account for the block of money that CCSU, cash that CCSU has, pay its bills. And because of that, um, the, the one on the left, he did the comparisons between Pasumsic and Union Bank and then Pasumsic and Community National Savings Bank. The net the net of this is that the the total the best deal is still from Pasumsic Savings Bank, uh, in terms of a combination of loan rates and the investment account and, and the thing that really carried it over the line is the, the ability for CCFU as a financial entity to make some money on its cash that it holds in its account. So the recommendation for finance is that, we, is that uh, we continue or we take out another TAN, and this is a recommendation across the FDA because we, we can't do three different notes or whatever, is to stay with the Sumsic Savings Bank um, and to accept their offer on, because he's got bids on each of the, the five districts in the industry office, uh, and, to accept, and to accept the Sumsic Savings as the provider of the TAN for uh, FY25. Um, there's another slight factor in there that's it, it's it's not a deal breaker, but we have all of our accounts at Pasumsic, and if we go to another bank, they want all the money to go. So we got to close accounts, we got to and all that stuff. It's work. It's not a backbreaker, but it's still it's an annoyance at a time of the year when you should really be starting to focus on closing out the book. Uh, the recommendation that I'm making to the board on behalf of finance is that you approve um, the use of the issuance of the tax note from the Sumsic Savings Bank, and I don't have the dollar. We need it. So let me see if it's. Last year, I have it in a minute. Um, Do we have a dollar now? What were we asking about for the savings? Or the... No, do we actually have to say. How much of a can? It's what the auditor told us. For the motion? He said you have to approve. The, yeah. I think it's, so because we can. It's on the uh, warning. I'm going to look for it on the record. Auditor, the we wrote the auditor stated that all boards need to formally approve TANs. I don't know anything about um, nothing else is in there. 
I thought, I I thought we had a conversation about needing that specific amount so that it was. Oh, we do. We have, yep. Well, last that's, year. That's, a, that's what the auditor yeah. said. Like, you can do it without it, but it wasn't. Yeah. Not the total amount you're saying that we're bar that we're yeah this one does say last year was 1.6 does that sound right <laughs> I mean that was what we have in here 1.6 yeah the money that we need to borrow which was 1.6 and some change for this year is what we have in here from last year you sent me the analysis let me just double check and make sure it was very early. and we do have it in a motion too we did say yeah. in the amount of 1.6 okay I just talked about can we come back to it and I just texted him for the amount he's somewhere sounds very time. So but this is interesting. The the profit was completely as much as thirty five thousand. So we're not talking like three thousand. Yeah, that's what he that's what he said last year. So okay. yeah, it goes into the unrestricted fund unless we approve it to go somewhere else. Okay. All right. Um, let me let me get them and I'll so in the short term we're gonna I'm going to take it back for right now. And then we're going to go on. All right. So we're going to move on and I'll move back. As soon as we have a number, just let me know. Um, the next thing on our agenda here is, is just NASDAQ. We've got another report from NASDAQ with some more enrollment projections for spring. And you know, they're roughly similar. And one of the things that we talked about um, with Eric and with Mark was seeing what else they could do. And it really didn't make sense to try to get them to, to do anything further because we, we couldn't give them access to our all of our all of our data and everything. So this is the stuff that we're going to get from them as far as I know for okay, this year. I got it. I got it. We put on email. Okay. So do you want to go back? Let's just I'm going to go back. Yeah. I'm going to table NASDAQ now. <laughs> Sorry, I don't I'm not I, writing all this down. <laughs> it's nice to be getting good. So let's forget I tabled it. Yeah. Forget I saw forget about I untable it. But, but, <laughs> I agree. I untable it. I'm going to untable the tabling of the table. I'm going to go back. I have a now. I have a recommendation from the superintendent regarding. Right. So according to the cash flow certificate, you need to approve a can in the amount of two million one hundred and twenty-eight thousand two hundred and fifty-four dollars. With the some sick thing. With some the some sick thing. So some. Yeah. Okay. Y25. Okay. So I'm looking for a motion to approve a tax anticipation note of two million one hundred twenty-eight thousand two hundred fifty-four with the Sumsic Bank for the Danville School District for FY25. As recommended by the superintendent. As recommended by the superintendent. I'll make that motion. Okay. Motion. And a second. Motion by Dave. Second by Marlon. Is there any further discussion? All in favor of approving that, 2128254. Please say aye. Aye. And myself. Motion takes. All right. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. Good enough. Moving on to NESDAQ. Um, like I say, <coughs> NESDAQ, more enrollment projections. I don't know where we're going to go with this. It's NESDAQ. They, well, I think that some of what we anticipated was that they would give us, that we were hoping they would give us. Some special yeah. reports. I think the good thing that we have this, if there is ever any money with a state for a for building work, mm -hmm. it is going to be, sounds like it's going to be required that they're going to want enrollment data. Mm -hmm. So I think the fact that we're hooked in with us yearly will be yeah. a helpful thing. Um, and to the community too, to say we can give them information about right. the decisions that we're making. The only thing that's, that's problematic, so what Eric was asking for, we can't really do. The tuition you know. data? Well, we, we can't get we can't get projections for we can't get projections for in, for numbers of incoming tuition students because that's right they're coming from choice districts. Exactly. There's not a way to project that. The only yeah. thing you know we could pay Nasdaq to give us some you know some enrollment data maybe from other towns that typically send kids here, but it's still not going to. I don't think we can rely on it. We're seeing the trend might be interesting. Like, what was it like five or ten years ago? That might be something. What, whether we rely on that or not, but just but I think yeah. even some of this trend data isn't accurate. Like looking at these pages or numbers. 
Um, so then page three, like the pre-K enrollment data that they're looking at, I'm assuming they're assuming that we have three and we don't right now. So they're splitting that and saying that that cohort um, oh, is- be two at some point. Well, well like, no, so like the 25, 26 cohort mm -hmm. shows 24 preschoolers, but 11 kindergartners, but there, that's, um, that's still. But they, so the assumption that NASDAQ is making is that half those kids half move those on to kids kindergarten, are, and that's right. not the case. Uh -huh. Right. So that's no, like, all of them, right? Because they're all right now it is. Right. And I can't project any much further out than that. I wouldn't want to guess right. any beyond that. That'll be a factor. Right. Yeah. So that's just something to consider um, with looking at the unknown numbers right. versus mm -hmm. our current numbers. And if they were on the same trajectory of we are going to serve three and four year olds that, that's our goal, then this would be a relevant. Right. document for our, our building. Right, but project. then that number would be higher. Because right. the like 25 right. must like, be 40. Right, so right. like for next well, year, so the 24-25 preschool numbers, it should be about 24, but those are all four-year-olds. So that 20, it should be like, or maybe 22 of them are four-year-olds um, following through. Um, but if we added in three-year-olds, it would be more like 36. Kids. Yeah. So then, if that's a trend that they're trying to take down, their baseline number is wrong. Right. right. Is the only thing to say. Like, right. if that's, is it more like a 36 cohort of right. three and four year olds and not a 24? And we're not going to know at all because we don't take any three year olds. Right we're now. We're turning right. them away at the door. So, right but why, so. why isn't it 24 of each age? Is that because we fill up our pre K classrooms with? Forced. I don't have any or from, but some are from other towns. Not right now. We don't take. We have. Okay. These are only. We've got. We're a only little, taking Danville students, we are and we have taking Danville twenty-four four-year-olds. So in theory, if that trend is level, then we should. We would be seeing twenty-four three-year-olds potentially. Yeah. Even in pipeline, right? Mm -hmm. Our our preschool projection numbers are speculative, based on like birth announcements and things like that. Like Bethany, Cassie, and I have done pretty deep and look at that so yeah. um, so that would be the only thing to think of like the future projection i mean it's a guess anyways but i'm not sure that baseline is right. an accurate guess and what numbers did we give them we gave them middle school but meaning what year did we give we gave them uh um, what do you mean this was current enrollment right oh okay right okay. yeah but i don't okay. That's what we see. That we did this last year, though, right? December. December. We started in December. Right. right. Did we tell them it's last. only four, it's only four <laughs> year olds? Because that might make their projection shift for that very specific cohort graph. I don't know. Say. what I think we no, this is. A, I think we have to be tailor making this report since we have to let them know okay. that we only taken. Yeah. We're at capacity. We only taken four year olds. So all the preschool. Well, that's something that we right. do the next time we we submit it. Right. It makes it clearer. Because all I do is I put mean, numbers into a spreadsheet. Right. Maybe 60 percent of them before you They seem pretty good about adapting. Which they're like, inside yeah. the trend yeah. line. So within the, like, within the like, constraints like, yeah. of the contract we have, we have a lot of flexibility. Okay. Yeah. And I think they're responsible. Um, I mean, I'll be honest, it's sat in my inbox for a couple of weeks yeah. before I got a chance to send it out. So. I wonder, I'm trying to think of before you leave, Mark, just so it's not, they have the information they need about this preschool situation. Should we send that, clarify that with them first? For yeah, our, I probably should. Okay. Just for our next round, they'll do this in the fall again. We do that. Yeah. Sarah and I will. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it would be useful because when you, when you see the downtrending that, isn't, that may not be the case, then it's not really helping us with the Right. We can't, right. We don't want to pay more. Right. Because we don't, we don't have cohort grade levels that are just 11 and 12. Not right now. I mean, I, I don't have a crystal ball, but that's but really can... smaller than we Yeah. Is there a reason they don't go back earlier than 2018 with the historical environment? Um, well, like five years. I think it starts to get not, it's not valid when you go, keep going back that too far. I think they found, they just in terms they just of project out so far. Right. Historical. Yeah. 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 
but that's it's a statistics reason. I think so. I remember. I can't remember, but and I think they did say they say it somewhere. I think that as you go out farther, you know, it is yeah, going to be kind of you know a new. We start moving standard deviations out from from the mean and then. Well so five years, should, like knowing that COVID was like two years before COVID or two years after right. COVID. Which is well, like that's the other thing because when I was talking with that aspect, they said, you know, this has been really hard to do because of the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. and everybody's numbers are skewed. Yeah, yeah. But so they, if you look at the reliability of enrollment projections, I think they talk about it there. Um, yeah, I'll be honest. I yeah, this. yeah. There is something. There's like some good flavor in there about yeah. as you, you know. Well, this is probably worth it if it's but to the extent that it's buying um um it's worth um credibility with the community. Yeah, yeah. just yeah just the collating of data in the in the report is useful and it, it, it's not that expensive. Yeah, and if we're right. especially if we're still sharing with Twinfield in the coming years, if they're still doing it. Sort of objective third part. Well, and I think I think that's why it's especially important to fix the preschool because that makes it look like our enrollment right. is going to shrink. Right. Right. I think that's an important and that, piece. Uh, yeah. And stating if we're including tuition and residence together, stating that that's the case that the tuition right. students are included in this. I don't think they might. I don't know. The seventh grade, seventh grade doesn't have thirty-two on its own. Right. I so, gave them separately in a separate table in December counts of students that were uh, tuition in by grade. So they had that, ba yeah. that baseline data. I know seventh grade looks right. Amelia's grade definitely didn't have 32 prior to this year. I don't think, we, she was a smaller grade than Ethan, but I know Ethan's was big with 32. Right, no, I, yeah. I I mean, oh, sorry. Don't do it. <laughs> because you're gonna complain later. Somebody said your kid's name in a meeting. Like that. Um, seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> I know children in that grade. <laughs> right. Okay, well, we know what to do. I, know, I, I guess what made me think it wasn't is the end, the total enrollment number I thought was too low. Well, right. like right now we have 31. So. All the total. Right, so total. total. Like just minus six. Total. So the, the data that I sent, I mean, keep in mind it's a snapshot of time. We yeah. are going to pull our current enrollment data. You got kids move in and move out, right. and it's going to not match up exactly. Right. Well, but it's so on page three, that projected percentage change, which I believe that doesn't include preschool. Or maybe it is right. So that would be about right with, without preschool, though. Never mind. So the, I think in my you know, somewhat limited experience with them, I think we've we get them on the phone and we explain this thing, and then they're going to say, "Oh, then we need to do X." We yeah, do X. Right, and I think yeah, I think yeah. it's probably in their algorithm is pretty simple there. It's just, you know, I think the assumption would be that preschools open in public schools for three and four year olds, which is true. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah spring up the seventh grade having thirty. Yeah. No, I think you're right. I think I, I didn't realize it was just K to K okay. 12 number. So, so we yeah. do think that is tuition included. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's yeah. good to know. Yeah. All right. So you're all feeling good about this, what you're getting out of this? We're going to have to move ahead to mm -hmm. and the renewal will come up in the fall. I think that, you know, in December or January. That we well, it may be earlier because we signed on late. Oh, right. Yeah. It may be earlier. It may be more towards the beginning of the school. Like you said, they signed us up for the next year for games last year. That's whatever it is. I yeah, think it's all right. Well, that's 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 the other question that we'll talk about. And then the special ed report. So. Yeah, I don't know what I don't happened. Know what that happened. I don't know what happened. Good on that. All right. Um, so next we have a facilities update. Brandon. Uh, yeah. So just uh, a couple of things I had was Sarah had talked to me about 
replacing the carpet on the other side that can be coming the main entrance to go to the left of the main office. Up the ramp. The ramp. Up the ramp. The ramp. Yeah, yeah. The window hallway. The ramp. <clears throat> I got stained glass hallway. Yeah, stained yeah. glass hallway. Yeah. 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 I got a quote from Country Forest to do that job. Um, I know that company really well. They're really reputable and mm -hmm. they do good work. I think they're the ones that did like all the tile in the entrance way. Mm -hmm. um, so I just wanted to see what you guys thought about doing that. And that summer work, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Was that the only bit? That's the only one I got just to get an idea. Um, <clears throat> I can absolutely get more. Or it's good work. 3,700, 3,792. It's, it was a very reasonable bid to wait in that. way below our, our bid, our multi-bid threshold. Um, I mean, I think, you know. I know I can bid it out too, but like, I personally know the company, so I. If like, it was 37,000, which would be close to the, then I would say get more. Bid. Right. This, this is a project that we've wanted done for a while, like aesthetically. It's one of those aesthetic yeah. pieces. Yeah. Um, that that carpet is a weird, ugly green color. I'd like it to match the rest of the weird brown color. <laughs> it doesn't. It trades weird, looks too weird, dirty. Brown for weird, weird brown for a weird green, but it's um, it's yeah. pretty threadbare. It needs to be replaced yeah. for sure. Some of those are stomach pieces that yeah. a little bigger than one. It would also be uh, replaced with like two by two tiles, they call them, they're carpet tiles. So if like one got ruined for some stupid reason, like who knows what could happen, you can just peel one piece up and put a new piece back in. Obviously oh, in 15 okay. years, put a new one in, it might not look the same when it's <laughs> brand new, but if you anything in the near future. It would but be. you're not looking at replacing the whole run. The whole right. Oh right. yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. That's there, yes. Even if it looks as you know, yeah, you could. It might look a little off, but you could at least get it looking better. Yeah. Is there anything under there that might come out with the building project that we're doing at some point down the road? Like, would we be say next year we start talking about or getting our building project going, like piping and that kind of stuff? I believe it's just concrete water. Okay, so we wouldn't right. be tearing any of that up anyway. I don't. No, I wouldn't. Okay, think so. well, that's that would probably stay. Okay. Yeah. Right. And the hallway is probably going to stay. So yeah, next one right. I mean, the hallway is probably going to stay. I mean, if it has <clears> been ends up with a lot of construction work, then looking at replacing some tiles, tile, but it probably yeah. would be the whole run. And theoretically, they're if we're doing any construction, they're creating walkways for themselves that right. aren't damaging the existing floor. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes, yeah, so that's the first one, yeah. and then. I I can probably talk better about these next two. I have a question about the security okay. upgrades. Are we going to discuss uh, security upgrades to the point that we would need to be in an executive session? We're talking about community. No, I don't think we will. We need to uh, approve you... this first. Do you want them all up together? I really drew them separately. Okay. Oh, I, didn't, okay. I was just going to see how many how many things we were going to be looking at. This. Go for it. Do you want to okay. hear about them all? Now? No, sure. I'm, but, I'm, but this one this one makes perfect sense. Do you need a motion to approve this one because it's coming out of unrestricted? That would be the only. It's not the mm -hmm. Okay. Does anybody have, is, is everybody okay with this one? It makes sense to the board, the assembled board, and the thirty seven hundred. Yeah. It'll be this summer, like it's done. Yeah, yeah. So, any little things we can do, yeah, along the way. So maybe not less than four thousand, or up to four thousand, rather. Yeah, you might want to put a little buffer in, PC. Sure. Make a motion to approve the uh, the estimate of not more than um, not more than four thousand dollars for the carpeted hallway replacement going up the ramp. From, unrestricted funds. from the unrestricted funds. A motion on the table. A second. Second, the motion to replace the carpet hallway on the ramp side. All in favor? Aye. 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 Just I don't know. Maybe we'll do a 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, whatever. Yeah, I can get some samples. Like, not only one of those like, security upgrades, but it, it's cameras and you know you can talk about it without saying specific. Just want to make sure. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure that we were talking about something that we didn't need to talk about. Right. Right. People know we have yeah. to work with you have to tell them which one we're upgrading and why. Okay. Well, we want to talk about why, but I think it's necessary. Yeah. So, right. so that's so we're going to move down to building parking lot maintenance and security upgrades. That we're going to move down to that piece of business. And I'm going to turn it over to Sarah. So she's the one to talk about. I don't know. I, is there? I don't know if there's any other facilities people that Brandon wants to talk about. He's welcome. As far as funding and stuff, I don't think so. Uh, you fix that hole. He did. Fix the hole. Fix the hole. Yeah. Thank you. I, I have. Think you tell about this one. Yeah, I just okay. I got done work today and went home and I built the whole framework Here. for the new sign. Yay. Oh, um, yeah. So that's ready to go. The tractor's down down here getting work done. So when that comes back, I'll get that old one ripped out. That the new one put in, and you know that's on somebody's private property, so that's you, what it yeah. you need to go down there. the driveway, knock on the door. Oh, where the so side is. Good. That man doesn't live at that house, yeah. but we should let him know we're doing that. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say you're faster than me. Well, I got to start beautiful. Oh, my kids first. It was really heavy to get out of my garage. Okay. I'm good. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna get that property, uh, you know, the rock Toby down with him. Toby put him up here in the pile. Toby owns the property. Yeah, right? those are good Toby rocks. Toby gave us yeah, a white tile. You don't want those rocks coming out. Okay. It's no, just like land on both sides and under there. Right. Who, owns, who owns the property that the sign says? It's Walter Ritney. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. We should just make sure that, you know, rather than sending, bringing a tractor down there and digging up his lawn, so we'll let him know we're sending a tractor. Yeah, well, there won't be any digging with a tractor, just basically to. All the jungle. Yeah, just, to, just, just to make sure that I'm we continue to have a, that amicable. I like yeah. you, you want to contact him yourself or you want me to contact? I'll send him. I'll send you. If you want to, uh, as long as I know who it is, I can yeah. put him in follow Okay. I'll give you the contact information. Nice. Okay. Um, plant some stuff around there too. Yeah, that would be nice. Oh, I've already, already, already like a You got this yeah. all worked out. 100%. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. Yeah. 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 Like something. Now we should take a picture of it and send it. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, no, I said, but I said that months months ago too. Like some little, like those little box, whatever mm -hmm. they yeah, don't require box. a lot of. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, you don't want them all better than the weeds growing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something. Yeah. Um. So there was that, and then um, the front entrance will be getting painted sooner than later. Hopefully, yeah, like the the white. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been trying to get it done the last two weeks, but weather's not cooperating. It's not. So that's on schedule and. Did we figure out the fencing out here? Who does that? Uh, no. Is that state? For painting you? No, I think yeah. we decided that was us. It is us. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. ask the guy when he comes and paints that and just okay. see like what he thought it would cost to repaint that too. But I figured for now with the yeah. main entrance. What yeah, is that better. fence made out of material? Yeah, it it's like just it's four by four. Oh, wood. It's wood. The at least the okay the the white part of it. Yeah, it the rest does of look kind of metal, doesn't it? It looks weird. metal. I always thought they put a metal fence in. That's interesting. Yeah, I've never actually looked at this yet. Units in between the granite. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think it's yeah. Just, I always yeah. thought that was metal from the way it appears. Yeah. This chip, I feel like I just noticed a month ago that it is chipping. That's like why it's not metal. Yeah, no, oh, okay. <laughs> well, I didn't notice okay. it before. Okay. And then the trash is gone. Thank you. It's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least most of it. Yeah. But I took a load in my truck and then got rid of all the clients. Yeah. Stuff. That's good. Yeah. And the, Part of the trick is, and thank you for in advance for just don't let piles yeah, pile up. You know, and it's just just because yeah, there's dirt piles up there, but that's yeah. like dirt piles are different than trash piles. Just people yeah. put trash on trash piles. This is a two thousand yeah. dollar problem. It turns out. Yeah, yeah. So, I was kind of astonished at the price of that. It's still um, too. But it, 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 wouldn't have, it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't it wouldn't have been that kind of a problem because we have trash collection all the time. We could have taken it out a little bit at a time. And this is just there's a question of action versus inaction. Thank you for the action. Yeah. You get down in the woods. I haven't gotten over there. Mm -hmm. Not the metal stuff. Not yet. I think some of that's been over for decades. It takes since the '89 buildings was built. There's the <laughs> town, and they told you about the town of Barrage. There's a scrap metal bin. It's, yeah, the wood that's over in the in the woods over here is not. It's going to be a dumpster. But that always make us money. So or it should. 
put a couple of boxer all medals on the drop off of metal ducks or they should pay us for it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about the tanks, but I'll pick some out. Kind of tanks? Like old tanks. I think there's two of them over there. Except you have to cut it now. Yeah, you gotta cut a circle in this. I'm not taking this because we're in the woods. We're in the woods and we're in the weeds. But thank you. All right. Thank you for the facilities update. And now move down to Let Brandon go or you want to well, let's talk. We can, why doesn't he talk, talk about, about the paving? And then oh, I can okay. talk about the other two. Okay. I'd kind of like to hear about this. I'll wait okay. for all of it. Okay. Time, so okay. No. All right. okay. Um, okay. So there's two different pieces with first choice. Um, the, I'm going to go out of order with how they are on the board report, I think. Um, the second one is the camera replacement, and we've upgraded our cameras with some different security upgrades. We've upgraded two digital cameras, um, which is fantastic. It allows um, a much better visibility in and, out, in and outside of the building. Um, this one that's on here is one of the last uh, exterior ones that we would like to replace. Um, we did a big chunk of them. Um, we did some camera changes last year after we had those break-ins on campus. Um, and this, I don't, I, this camera got missed or something. I, I, so that's that's where this piece is when uh, Natalie and I <laughs> looked at this. Um, it's a lot, but part of, part of it is um, first choice charges a travel fee. Um, and so doing the potential of then doing two projects together would theoretically save a little bit of money um, with that travel cost um, and maybe even some of that stuff. Um, so that first one's the camera. The second one is um, when we did this big upgrade with our cameras and then when we added that, that double security entrance in the front lobby, we are operating all of our cameras and the doors, door camera system on a single server, which um, keeps freezing. So it, it works, it's fine, it's it's not ideal. Um, yeah, it operates this whole thing more. Yes, and so it's not as reliable as we would hope it would be. Um, Security-wise, it is not as reliable as we would like to be. So the cost to split it and put the doors on one server and cameras on another one and keep them on existing is about 10 grand cost. Um, so that's... But it only has to be done once. Yes, right. Um, it only has to be done once. It gives... There's spaces in there already. If we wanted to add cameras, and when we rewired with new cameras, four years ago maybe now, um, mm -hmm. there was wiring done so that if we wanted to add any others, um, because they're not all digital, so so that wiring was done to make some of that piece easier. But as we all know, everything just goes up in this. <laughs> Yeah. So it's definitely a much higher cost than when we made that change several years ago. Yeah. So when you say you can't monitor, you mean if we if we say you can't monitor your students when I get that? Correct. Very regularly, you know, like the big monitor in the office that has the screen and stuff. That'll just that exists so that you can monitor your it students. Exists, you can see, or you can see what's right. entering, you can see right. the door, you're like, oh, that doorbell is ringing. Yeah. And the image shows you nobody there. Right. So we're losing the live monitoring. It's still recording. Yeah. So if you go to it hours later, you don't really have to. Right. So if It'll you're losing it. the live monitoring? Often. Okay. Often. Yes. Yeah, this is, this has to happen. Yeah. It, and it, it's what was problematic in September becomes much a much bigger frequency issue right now. Oh, it was the statute that we, was it this year or last year? It was in, in the course of last year, they made this law that we were getting in front of. Yeah, right. And it became the law in July. Yeah, they yeah, have, have that have the second, double entrance. The double not, entrance. It's failing at this point and not being able to monitor live. I mean, we have visual access. It's, yeah, you 
see what you have. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's yeah. Probably fine. It, it's not. I mean, it's not a daily thing by any stretch of the means, but yeah. it's more right. than I would like to be. Yeah. So, um, but it was also a much bigger piece. Um. Than I expected. Yeah, it's a big price tag. For sure. Yeah. How many cameras do you have on the screen at once? The screen is like this, right? Yeah. Kathy yeah. can put up Kathy can put up as many as she wants. Um we choose to leave up at home of high traffic. Okay. But so you can. add more cameras to <clears throat> window size. Right. Yeah, right. right. At, at the hospital we have four monitors like this in the in the security office mm -hmm. and um during uh, during peak times, we might have uh, these three here and then some smaller right. ones. Yeah. So um, if you're going from a one monitor to a two monitor uh, system, that's pretty good. It's not giving but this it's another not... monitor. What it's doing is it's splitting the server so that the cameras are operated on one system and the doors are operating on a second system, which According to first choice, is why things are freezing. It's all trying to operate under the why same user. Why don't you get two monitors? I think the monitors aren't good. I guess we the monitors. Point. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, that, it would be an easy thing to add, but it's not. The problem with it is the server. Yeah. Right, yeah. Storage. I understand how. Yeah. We don't. Because yeah. we have too many yeah. cameras up on all this other stuff, yeah. everything yeah. lags behind yeah. and you're. It won't. It won't even uh, record correctly. So no, I don't think she's got the... too much going on the monitor. It should yeah, the visual display should be able to work. Because if you added a new monitor, uh, a second monitor for this right here, I'd be happy with it. For oh, this monitor. that's yeah. I mean, we can. I we'd have to look at space and stuff like that. That's an easy smart TV is what most of our stuff is. So that's. An easy thing we could figure out, uh, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if there's space in there either. But yeah, I don't know if interactual. Yeah. It sounds like there's too many cameras on this one server for what the storage is. It's the the door door is coming out one. With, with the door system, yeah, yeah, there's too system. much space. That's, which is like with any your compute whatever you have right. in right. your storage is, yeah. you know. That is what they're. And we have to legally. That's what the certain cameras. Yeah, you know and. I would like to be able to see certain places in the building. Right. All the time. Right. So. That server quote, didn't it say too, like you could have X amount more cameras? On yes. That? Yeah. 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 So, so I think so it would. Where does it say that? How so, many do we have total total now? You know, make it your. They say you could have 60, the you know, proposed okay. server. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can cover 60 cameras with this, this new yeah. server. Yeah. So we're not close to 60. So we have. Yeah, really so this right. says what it would give us um, right here. So we have, we currently have 10 terabytes of storage, and in the gray right below that, it would give us a 24 terabyte yeah. server, right? So, oh. and then again, back to the facility changes and renovations, I assume it could all just be new wired and if we do any damage. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. when we, when we, you remember when we were talking to Cam, it climbed up <laughs> up the desk. Cam <laughs> climbed up on the desk. <laughs> she's all of it. like that's part of all the piece feeling. that he's talking about it's yeah. all just laying um in here and so yes it's very okay. usable similar to what he said you can't necessarily roll that wire right. back up. but it's so, not on tracks that's what it means to me. well right and so with the renovation i think that would be part of that conversation of how do we put that wiring in a more stable position right not that it's causing a problem but it's not going to last. Yeah. Like we can't build up the. And I think one of the, you know, the to this, but one of the proposals was to do hanging ceilings too. Like right. we're going right. to adjust. So at that point, hopefully we can adapt the wiring. Right. Yeah. yeah. So the I wiring might have to be replaced, but the wiring shouldn't cost. Yeah. Shouldn't mm -hmm. touch that. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. no. Right. Yeah. right. We'll buy a barrel of the dentist and go over. We should be able to salvage and then imagine we can salvage that. The bulk, the yeah. server rooms, and then yeah. the wires. Yeah. All right. 
So this is eleven thousand three hundred and fifteen dollars for the two units for the, for the two separate um, estimates. So for the server and the camera, yeah. So this might be an area where you want to do a little vague in terms of what's in the not specified particularly. I would say security upgrades. Security upgrades is just, you know, as we as proposed. Yeah. Sovereign These documents are recommended by, however, the principles. Principal. These documents are public. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm not sure they are. They're, They're not being Huh? They're, They're in the packet. packet. Oh, we put them in the wrong number. They're public. Fair enough. Uh, I would ask for them. If they happen. If they happen. As for them. For to get yeah. them. It's. Yeah, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm not because uh, I think it's tough. In our other conversations, when we have the big level conversations, I think government needs to be so many in sessions. Yeah, I think. Okay. I think we can still say that the security upgrade and um one one three one five. The first place. I'll make the motion that we approve eleven thousand three hundred fifteen dollars. For security upgrades as recommended by the principles. From unrestricted reserve. Yeah. From unrestricted, yeah. unrestricted reserve. Thank you. All right. Motion on the table. I'll second. I have a second. There's nobody else to second. A motion on a second. Yeah. Any further discussion? Yeah. Hearing none, all in favor of the approval of the 11315. Please say aye. 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 Thank you. Take care. Thank you. We'll make Cassie very happy. Very specific. Okay. Uh, what is our total of unrestricted funds at this point? Are we at about 200 shrinking. still? We were like 247, and this is shrinking. And so we're just. Oh, we're at like 200, probably. Yeah, close to 200. Yeah. Indeed. So when the books even out, we'll see what we get. And then absorb everything else comes back in. Okay. Um, we're not going to talk about the paving project. Are we going to talk about the paving project next? At twenty thousand dollars. That was just an option, but okay. So I just had that guy come out, give me a quote to fix the pat the spot by the drain that's really bad, and then the patch that I have to temporarily fix with pull back. I just figured while he was here, just to give me a rough idea of what it would cost to pave, like where that parking lot pavement ends to go square across towards the dugouts, just because I see like this cleanup from the winter months with all the plowed up dirt. And it was just an idea to, to uh, see what it would cost to fix that up, make it look nice, and then not have that problem after each winter. Um, I would like to at least be able to move forward with the patch or I didn't know if when he was here, if it's like, well, if he's already here, it's going to be only this much more to do that compared to but the patches, but it was a pretty big difference in pricing. So, and so the patch, but the patch is done. The patch, the patch, well, that's 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 your simple. That's a patch. temporary. This is, this, so that's the that's gonna come, this, yeah. that, this, is, this is like a patch. legitimate. They'll cut out the, like a square of concrete or of paving, and then put in a real paved. Patch yeah, that a deep one. Mm -hmm. And fix around the drain. And, yeah. And so there's there'll be where's two. the drain. Right, right next at the, the curb. Other bump with the oh right, right yeah. when you turn in. Yeah, right. yeah, it's right at the yeah. curb. So the the twenty two fifty would fix those two spots. I'm sorry, this uh the twenty thousand is down at the town fields. No, no, no. It's <laughs> the park, the main, the main parking lot. By the where the uh, oh Jesus, the soccer soccer yeah. 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 I can think. I'm thinking of yeah, other soccer. Yeah. 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 So just past, it's just past where the pavement ends, where all the bumpies go. And then they shove the snow up toward yeah, the, ball, the ball field, right? And they just eat the yard and eat the yard and eat the yard, yeah. all went along mm -hmm. until such time as then the yard thaws out, and then you just have your people into so the thing in the building and doing maintenance, doing spring cleanup. Mm -hmm. So, it was, so it was just an idea when the guy was out here. I figured I might as well get a quote to just see yeah, what yeah, it would cost, but it was. <laughs> wow, well, it wouldn't be twenty thousand no. dollars. Oh, and I also I worry right. that that if. Trucks Collins has some sort of idea about rerouting or 
I just worry that we would invest that and that could be a possible change for the building project. Right. Maybe not, but mm -hmm. like that corner is just tough in general. Like maybe we bump it out. Maybe right. we. I think it's a it, not yet. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it was, definitely. But yeah, it was just an idea because I don't know what paving costs. Yeah. And when he was out here, I'm like, well, maybe this will cost five thousand, or it'll be ten thousand sure, right. to do it right. all when we when it's here. Yeah, right. it wasn't. That wasn't the case. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I, I asked the no, question. No, I, I would rather. Yeah, yeah it's rather nice know. to know. Yeah. Right. People, because you know, this is the little test. Like they've asked about who's paid the whole thing, and yeah. I think it's good to have well, the seniors. Yeah, talk about that. Get the money out. Everybody should have their paid. Um, driver's paid this time. You know, we can piggyback on that. And all the extra things. Right. The county's yeah. going to do something. Yeah. We ought to piggyback on that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, but they're yeah. right. They're both fine. Yeah. So we can plan it out for us. So we're not going to do the the big thing for now, but you want to. But I would like to get a good fix on like the But it, it doesn't make any sense to keep having to fix it. For, yeah, for I mean, it cost, it was like 200 bucks. It cost me just to fill that one hole. Mm -hmm. I had a little bit of extra sample yeah. filler, but. Right. And it's, it's, it's got to get ripped out. So it's been patched several times. Yeah. yeah. So and I can't put cold patch in where the drainage, because that's right. like kind of, it would just go everywhere. It wouldn't stay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. How do you guys feel about this 2250 to uh, fix those two pothole for permanent? That's 2000. Pieces. Twenty-two fifty. Yeah, two thousand. Two hundred. Twenty-two fifty. 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 Twenty-two Right. The problem is we can't close that right. because of where it is. Right. So yeah, that's the worst weekend. possible like, spot. Like, yeah. Like, Will the coal pass that you put in hold up until school's out? Yeah, probably. I think we yeah. ride that thing until the summer if you can. Yeah. And, yeah. Keep the bumps. and I can put in a couple bags here or there if you need to just to yeah. keep it getting a spot. Yeah. Okay. This is Green Mountain Paving for $2,050. Oh, they the guys out of East Ferry. Yeah. Yeah, they did my driveway. They did good work. I see them everywhere. That's why I don't but they're not them. cheap, but they do good work. I see them everywhere. So it's yeah. There aren't too many people yeah. around, but, and it's and you can't get anybody to come and do that. But right. It took me forever to find somebody to come and be kind. Right, especially for such a small... It was expensive, but they did a good job, so... Yeah. This doesn't seem expensive to fix a problem that everybody has. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty. Everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Staff <laughs> members can. Yeah. Everybody that you see, everywhere you see them. Yeah. 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 Ye
building projects over the next right. three years. So. Right. Cool. We don't necessarily, I mean, 17,000 is a ton, but it's also a lot that we don't build into our local budget. Right. So. That's right. Yeah, and that sort of, you know, took some explaining yeah. last night to get an understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Um, um, next, we have a 70 fund request. Do you want to know about this one? Do you know how this one works? This is a fund completely different than you for field maintenance. Uh, no, I'll learn about that. Yeah. Give me, I give sort me, of heard a little bit about it. Give me that. a second so that you get an idea. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll talk through it. Um, so you, just so you know, um, there was somebody who donated a bunch of money to the town and but also to the school district to maintain their fields and properties um, better off the interest. And so a trustee of that fund works with our uh, athletic director to determine what kind of money needs to be spent to maintain the field. And in this case, to, uh, they're adding in um, a storage shed. In this, in this request, and so that money comes from a fund that is not the budget mm -hmm. and not unrestricted funds. And so then they do that work separately from you, but it happens, and you may be involved in this. Let me just, you know, some things where it requires some of your people in time mm -hmm. occasionally, and Randy let you know, and um, but you're always going to be aware of what's happening. Right. And in this case, they're asking for 25417 for a concrete, concrete walls on a floor for a shed. Field maintenance itself, and this is again something that you're now not having to do. We get complimented all the time on our fields, how mm -hmm. wonderful they are. And then they're mm -hmm. getting some in time work from the town, um, some some discounted, heavily discounted excavator work from the town because the machines are already over there. And yeah. He's yeah. a supporter of um, the school. And the yes. select board what is do this it. shed going to store that we need the storage, storage for? Is it baseball stuff or? All of it. Just, I, I, think, it's, I think it's all of their equipment. So the right now it's behind the baseball dugout. Which had it, yeah. Yeah, so it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, they're going to build. And the only reason I ask is if, I'm sorry, um, if we don't have a baseball team, softball team. We're still a soccer team. We're still soccer, soccer team. So it's like sports stuff being sort of? Yeah, because that's yeah. our yeah. soccer. Our main soccer field. You know, sport boys, like, middle stuff. We have cross country stuff that needs to be put away down there. Yeah. Just, they, just put all that stuff because you, you're running your stuff down there. You know? And, and, and we, don't, we don't not have a baseball team. We just don't have a baseball team this year. Right. And no, I'm just if, curious if this one in the shed more than like equipment or if it's like stuff for the fields or what it was going to be used for. Or what it is used for, I just don't know. It wasn't like a. I'll yeah. make some. I'll make some assumptions. I don't know the end, like for yeah. sure. But we've got really nice um, scoreboards yeah. that are out there. Um, we've Benches got in the winter probably. Probably some of that. Some of the equipment. The machines. Yeah. Chalk line the machines, machines. All of that. Yeah. yeah. The chalk line machine. Yeah. Um, and right now they're hauling that back and forth on oh, the tractor okay. or the leader. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. I mean, they store some of it down, but even to like clean it out up here and stuff like that, like maybe mm -hmm. we'll be spraying up the chalk machine in the shops. <laughs> yeah, the chalk machine. Okay. So, yeah. uh, so just the sports equipment. Yeah. Like the old so we have one chalk machine. That's a Randy question. Randy, he sent me a Randall, text. He sent me a text a few minutes ago. Said they were in the only the sixth inning, and he was never going to make it. Okay. So, I said, well, I mean, I'm happy to like. Sit here. They might only have one chalker because he was he had brought it to Twinfield to for us to use over there for softball, and then he got Twinfield got one. Yeah, I was going to say I know Twinfield was just ordering one. Yeah, I put it together last week. I and I used it just to chuck the softball field. Right? Mm -hmm. No way to so this money would come from the 70 fund like trust from the 70 trust fund and it's for field maintenance it's for the construction of a shed and it's for some labor and it's for some concrete piers for the shed to keep the new construction into it and this that twelve thousand includes the field up here and the town it, yeah the yeah, turf both both of the diamond them. turf does both of them. yes okay, okay. yeah <laughs> It might only be down there right now, but they uh, maintain both the edges. I'll do the little one with you. It's good. The little one, will you still look here? They, and I know Diamond Turf, I don't know if um, it was the fall, but they were going to do some stuff out there. 
He really liked the guy. Uh, yeah. What's his name? Chip. Dan. That's what I said. <laughs> He's a really good dude. So. Great. All right, how do you feel about the 25-417 from the 70 fund, as recommended by the trustee and by our athletic director? I'll make a motion. The motion here, 25-417 from the 70 fund for field maintenance and the construction of a storage shed on the town. As recommended by? As recommended by the athletic director. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. All right, a motion on the floor. Uh, second. Second as well. And a motion and a second to approve 25-417 from the 70 fund. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And myself, that's three. Motion carries. All right. Thank you, Mary and Zoe. Yeah. yeah. At the select board, they call it Marion's fund. That's, the, that's what they're just called, Marion's fund. We call it the no, 70 it's Actually, Marion and Paul. Yeah, but that means we we do though we get complimented all the time on how incredible our fields are. It's you wouldn't we wouldn't have the money to spend year after year to to have nice fields. Mm -hmm. it, it would get cut every year. So I'm glad to have it. Yeah. All right. The last thing on. Oh, is it on here? Yeah. So the the fee for intra district sports, the fee structure mm -hmm. for intra district sports. And Randy's not here. This we talked about this in April, and um, we. we we talked about taking it up the CCSU board because it's going to have to come down from the CCSU board. Um, took it to the CCSU board, and I'm not sure it has to go from the CCSU board. I'm not sure we don't just put this in place at the end of So, because I, um, and if you guys had a chance to read through this fee structure, this fee structure, this is, um, it matches the fee structure in some other places that we know about. It matches um, some of the things we do. It would not include, according to this, this drafted proposal here, it would not have to include high school. It would include basically it's three through eight. And it helps us to lay the costs of when people send their kids over to play sports for us. And they help us pay for the referees and help us pay for the other things. It's going to impact other, other um, like teaching them. It would impact them, but do they get a say in it? Right. No, so, I don't think they have to go on it. Now, you can put that in place. You're, you're running the athletic program. I think so you can publish it. It's not a it's not a ridiculous amount of money. I think it's I think it's that's okay. So when we took it up to the CCSU board, um, the Twinfield board chair thought that it didn't need to happen because it was going to go high school kids and they have their own. They weren't using they had a similar system. They had a club system for their kids of this age, and he thought that because of all the in kind sharing, he didn't think that this was a this was just moving money around for the sake of moving money around. But not his not being aware of the perception issue in Danville. Right. And so um, this is not one for action here tonight in, on this board because we're just going to discuss it. But the way I think the way it works is this is a Danville's going to be saying to people who participate, you got to pay us $75 a yeah. kid. It's expensive. It's, it, it, it gets, yeah, it gets expensive really money. quickly and it's easy to say that you mm -hmm. wouldn't have them, but they wouldn't have anything if they didn't. Need and, and we're willing to pay that amount. To send our kid to let's say Twinfield. Right. You know, was, if Twinfield doesn't want seventy five dollars kid, they don't have to take it. But we'll send send an invoice or however that works. And you have a fee structure coming in, you're going to have to honor it going out. Can any rec for any hundred dollars participate? I'm sure there's the, 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 even a little league fee is expensive. Yeah. 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 So seventy five is a bargain. Yeah. And people can choose to. Yeah. Enforce it or not enforce it at their other schools. Yeah. I think we're going to make this a well, it's a, And it's still going back to the school. We're setting this. Place. This is not, we're not charging parents right. to have. Correct. It, 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 we're not charging parents. The school's going to pay the fee. Oh, yeah. they're not yeah. Um, Right. Coming out of, it would be an exchange with the district, like it would be a billing, just a billing. Yeah, we'll do, I don't know how much we'll do it. It's an accounting yeah. transfer or something. It's probably easy within the CCSU, but if it was a kid that was somehow not in our, like St. J students participated on our basketball well, last so year. They would have to run a check. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Then you simply run a check and then you just, you don't, you don't out for it and then you pay it. And um, so I, I guess we hold this as Daniel. They don't want to participate. They don't want, they want to participate. But. Yeah, I think that makes sense. 
Yeah, yeah. she didn't want to frack. No, it's, I think it's okay because I think we needed to talk about whether or not we needed to take it back to CTFT. And since it doesn't involve others, it only involves us billing and then putting it on the record here locally mm -hmm. that we are going to act for this money. Right. Then it's really not, it's a really- It's not a really low impact decision too because there are kids that are not, a lot of kids are not going to be impacted by it. Mm -hmm. We talked about it certainly in the high school sports. Right. Would the plan be to start it in the fall? Probably, right? The spring's already. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hopefully okay, reimbursed. No, if I'm no, it's it's like not a policy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah they haven't budgeted for anything. Well, they haven't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, the season's no. already started. Well, so he's not, he's not here. He's not here. Over. We're not one for action. So let us put this on the agenda for the next time as a Danville um, specific item with action to consider enacting this uh, fee structure, which is a procedure, not a policy, in this fee structure procedure. And um, yeah. and that's good. It doesn't, it doesn't apply to K through two. The little kids can still come out if the little kids one they're still deciding on whether or not they like sports. They can still participate in our youth programs for at no charge. So we're not dissuading people from participating. We just it, need to help allay the cost of referees and field maintenance. Yeah, Madeline, Natalie just said, but Randy put in there like this would be a 26 27. Yeah. Um, right. he's off a year. He is off a year. Yeah. 25 26. Yeah, but, it's always hard with the. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. But, but not, for, not for September because it's like places already have their budget. Uh, but budget because it's such a nominal amount, could it? Could it go? Could it? I think that's my question to consider and talk about even for next time. Yeah. Decide, could how, many, start wait, fall? how many kids do we have coming in? It, it, so it says in the miscellaneous, he expects the total amount to be brought in at about three thousand dollars per year. Per so year, from different schools. So though, from so multiple right, different right. schools. So it's not going to make a break. Anything. It's not going to break oh. anybody else. It's I would like to see it start to fall. My I think I think this fall. I think you should this fall. fall. So, so you want to run that by the CCFU people, or just as a FYI, or no? No, you just like you're talking. It's just when it's all sorted out, I'll run their mode to the teaching board, I'll call the board and say it's been implemented to cover the cost of Danville for Karen for a long time for your kids, boys sports and Danville school sports teams. If they so, want to, if, if they want to, and so a nominal fee, and the boards, the board has to pay it, and it's not going to break the and Waterford already does it. Right. Yeah. Waterford already does it, right. So CCSD already knows. Okay. Yeah. There's a question. Yeah. Yeah. They did say they paid it out of the budget. And, but then the, the, the next step for this board and for this community is, yes, we do. When they say, what well, do those kids pay? Right. Yes, we have a system and we have right. a, we have something in place that yeah. we'll lay these costs even to a small degree. Right. And it's, that's just the perception. And they are slot in the team and there's more and yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, hopefully we can like, okay. we, we can save somebody a little bit of grief along with us. Right. right, and that's that. And I'm to the end of my items for today. You guys ready for public input? Is there any public input? No public. No public. Okay. I have two meetings to talk about with you guys. So first, future agenda items for this board at the next regular board meeting, we're going to talk about the fee structure. We're going to have presentations from a couple of Capstone kids. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll have a lot of the regular stuff. And then maybe we'll have some more stuff in the facilities. If something else comes up you know, that you think is pressing, please let us know. Um, either in writing or whatever. Thanks for coming to the meeting. But when I'm making it come, you don't have to. Yeah, but yeah. I do. I do. So I yeah. never, I never want to spend public habits. It's nice. I appreciate you coming. Things work too. The same. I appreciate you coming. Yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. It was fee structure for next meeting. Uh, some one? student projects. Oh, right. Some student 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 student. Project is a presentation, oh. and then uh, it's something else. Is it building committee? No. We're going to talk about the building committee meeting in just a second. Okay. I don't know um, if you guys are ready for that. So. Yeah. So that's all I have that, that I know about for this upcoming meeting for right now. And then the second meeting that we have a scheduled meeting for the building committee on next Thursday. But I don't know if we're going to be ready for the building committee yet. Yeah. We had a so just FYI, we had a we had a preliminary meeting with a small group 
with Truex looking at some proposals and we can we can present some pared down information to that group if you'd like to, or if you want to wait and hold that until the regular board meeting instead and put that as part of the regular board meeting and not meet next Thursday. Right. We need to wait to put it all packaged up. Because we don't have mm -hmm. we don't yeah. we don't have a ton of information yet. So what I'd like to do in that case, if you guys agree, is instead of looking at the uh, 16th for a building committee meeting, May 16th, let's postpone the May 16th building committee meeting. To, yeah. to the prior month, and we have one scheduled. We have another one in June scheduled. We have one. We have one scheduled for June sixteenth or thirteenth. Thirteenth, yeah. yeah, June thirteenth. Yeah. So we have. So we're going to take. I'm going to go May sixteenth. May sixteenth canceled, and I'll send an email to the people, and I'll say we're not going to have this one because we have information. Things are moving a little bit. Yeah, let them know things are progressing. And then we'll do the thirteenth. We'll go on the 13th. We may have an update. Uh, it may, if it becomes prudent for Truex to make a presentation on our regular meeting on June the 4th, if that's the time works better for them, then we'll invite the building committee to that. Okay. And we'll set the floor. Nice. And that's that. Okay, so that's those two meetings. Should we give those dates to Truex? Since he's not, not going to hold it for us, but FYI, we may need you on. I, yeah, I, I emailed him back the other day a couple of the dates, okay. and then he didn't know where we were going to go. So I was waiting to talk to you guys tonight, and I'll follow up with Cam okay. to figure out if we if he has information that he wants to talk about to be a simple the, the larger assembled group of the building committee. He can do that, or the large or the assembled the fully assembled board. I think we should meet next year because I don't remember. Did we decide we're meeting in July so that we can meet oh, with right. Mike and Matt, whichever is coming before. So we have to meet in July now. Because of what we decided about the summer about summer hiring. hiring. Okay. That's just what I just need to yeah. have so that in the mind. July, the, the July meeting, which would be okay. so, I don't. so our June meeting is our next meeting, and the subsequent meeting after that is going to be July the 2nd, and we have to have a meeting. So the July meeting can be canceled. Mm -hmm. You don't have to come. July 2nd. <laughs> you don't have to come. Why, why are you meeting? Uh, because <laughs> At the on, at the occasion of your retirement, the superintendent no longer has to um has no longer has hiring authority. And oh, that's right. Yeah, we had that. Whole I need to, I need to, I need to, I need to have, have that really held that. one way or the other in case there's a hire that I have to I need to be able to approve that hire. I can cancel it. There, there may be a point where I can cancel it if there's nothing to be done. I forgot to do it. We did it, and so here we are. Okay, and so you're you're welcome to come. <laughs> I won't have any authority. No, 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 but you'll, be, you'll, you'll be allowed to speak in the public input. comment section. In the public comment input. Oh, you don't want me to come in and make a public oh, comment. Oh, you don't. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I know too much. On, okay, on also, <laughs> on also <laughs> feature meeting, right? I had a I had a, a brief meeting with a gentleman from what was his name? Up with people or something. Oh, up with people. They wasn't up with people. It wasn't up with people, but it's <laughs> up with people. Somebody else. It was. Oh, he's. I I, I post this thing. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Do you remember that? Are you old enough to? Where's it from? Why do I? Oh, know I don't know. That was the same musical thing, but that was back when I was. I don't know why I know it. Parents must have told me about it. <laughs> I remember. I remember the jingle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was American, which was up with people, without the dancing. Yeah. Okay, we so went we had to Europe and sang. Huh. We had spoken with um, this talk about a, a board, a, an every board retreat mm -hmm. in the summer, and there may be an every board retreat scheduled for sometime in July for all of the boards. I'm working, so the gentleman's name is Harry Frank, and he worked with Upper Learning. And I had a meeting with, with Mark Clough from the Peachin Board and um, Harry to lay out an agenda for that one, but I wasn't going to bring it up to anybody until until the CCSU board meeting, but there may there may be a point at which we do some um, future planning for board members with the new administration before we turn the, everything over to them to do some stuff with shared goals in the summer. And it's going it to be catered and be on Saturday. And that's just a retreat. Mm -hmm. never had. So, but it may be all the boards will be invited. And you may not be in town. It's just a chance. And so I'll present that to the CCSU board next time we get there. But for right now, this is where we're at. Mm -hmm. And that's it. It is 7.37, and entertain a motion to return. I'll move to 7.37. Motion, second, all in favor, and we're out. Aye. Aye.
Yeah, we're out. <laughs> 737.